We have something like 80 million objects in our collections, most of which are here behind the scenes. We're trying to get more of that used and out into the world, and the way we're doing that is by trying to digitise as many as possible. What you'll see here is that x-rays are um, coming out of the source, so this is where they're generated. They pass through the object, the object rotates to 360 degrees, and those projections are recorded. And you use some algorithms to then reconcile all those projections and turn them into a 3D volume. And then what you're able to do is basically look inside the object. So we have some great examples of where we've done this recently. We've looked at an anglerfish, which we had in the collections for about uh, 15 years or more. We scanned the object and what we found that there was a fish inside the fish which had another fish inside the fish um, and the fish it swallowed uh, was twice its length. So this informs us a lot about the deep ocean which we know very little about. There are other examples where we've been working on meteorites. So this is where we're looking for voids inside meteorites which might capture Martian atmosphere. And if that void is complete and sealed and the atmosphere hasn't escaped, then we can pinpoint that location and extract that atmosphere without destroying the specimen. I'm amongst 33 million insect specimens, which represent um, a significant portion of the museum's overall 80 million collection. Insects are in many ways the most diverse group uh, on the planet. There's about uh, one million described species. And just on this floor alone, we have two major groups of insects, the butterflies, of which there are about 400,000, and also the uh, bees and the wasps, the hymenoptera, and they're two of the mega diverse orders that we have amongst insects. This is the starting point, really, for how we digitise material. One of the things we're digitising on the programme at the moment is microscope slides with lice on them. What we do to digitise the lice is take the microscope slide, um, put it under a, an ordinary camera, um, we have a little marker to put it, and we use barcodes to capture the key information, so what it is uh, and where it is in the collection. So another challenge we have in digitisation is our collection of pinned insects. So we've been trying to come up with ways to image pinned insects without taking them off the pin. And the most recent is called ALICE, which stands for Angled Label Image Capture Equipment. It's really just a set of six cameras around a central carousel. The pin specimen goes in the middle, all the cameras go off at once, and we get a set of images capturing the labels and the specimen from different angles, which we can combine or manipulate with software to get as clear as possible an image of the label. We're examining what we can do with 3D as the technology there gets faster. We're looking at surface scanning, for example, and that's an approach that we're using for some of our whale specimens where we take a surface scan and that's our digitised bit of information about that creature because a 2D image of lots of the things in the museum is not particularly scientifically useful either. So of our 80 million objects, you know, we're working slowly through them and provided they have a scientific question attached. Um, however, getting through 80 million objects is probably going to take um, a lifetime or even more, I would say. And we hope that people will use the data both for research and for other purposes. So we'd love to see, for example, artistic creations inspired by the collection.